Let's take another look at the odd behavior we saw at the end of the last video. Recall that we tried to remove an index, that is remove a value from the array using its index, but then the indices of the other values were preserved. Let's take a look at this phenomenon from another perspective. First, we'll make sure nothing is stored at ARR. And then we'll create our array, just like we did before. Now let's write a short for loop. For C, for every C stored in the indices of ARR, so for every value stored inside ARR, echo that value. And that's what we see here. Now let's look at a different syntax. Using the same for loop, I'm going to put a bang, an exclamation point, in front of ARR inside the expansion of this inside the expansion of this variable. And we'll see what happens. What the bang does is it prints out the indices rather than printing out the values stored at those indices. So if we unset an index, as we did before, and we run our for loops again, you see in the first one, we get the four values as expected. The odd behavior is when we loop through the indices and find that 3 has been removed and even though we might think 4 would become index 3 it's not. 4 remains 4 and we leave a gap at 3. So if we try to access index 3 we get nothing. There's a gap. But if we try to index 4, we get what was always at index 4. Same with index 2 or any of the other indices. The odd behavior we just witnessed may be important to remember if you were trying to if you were trying to access certain values at certain indices within the array after unsetting other indices. Let's unset our array for the next example. Now, you may find it useful at some point to store a word not as a complete string, but rather as an array of characters, L, I, and so on. We could set it up this way, filling out the rest of the characters in the word linguistics. But here's another elegant way of doing it. Okay, what's going on here? Grep, you know. 
the O flag says, I don't want grep to output the entire line containing the match. I only want it to print out the match itself. The pattern is a single dot, which as you know, matches any character. So when I run this code, each of the characters in the word linguistics is matched. Let's create an array of characters from a word using that grep syntax. Let's see if it worked. All right, so what did we just do? For every letter, for every C, output by this command which we just saw before outputs L, then I, then N, then G, and so on. Do this. Append the value stored at C to the variable ARR, to the array ARR. So when we echo all the values stored at ARR, we see L, then I, then N, then G, and so on. Likewise, if we look at a specific index, we see the values stored at that index. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. U is stored at index 4. So we've just seen how to take a word and to represent that word as a data structure at the character level with an array. This is a trick you may find useful somewhere down the road.